Good afternoon. I'm Jessica Moore. It's the big day. The journey continues. We are just hours away now from the face off between the St. Peter's Peacocks and the Purdue Boilermakers. The Peacocks are on a mission to head to the Elite Eight. Tonight's game is just down the turnpike in Philadelphia, and that's where we find CBS 2's Otis Livingston, who has more on all the excitement. Otis. Hey, Jessica, it usually happens around this time every year. A small school steals a national spotlight from the Blue Bloods and has an entire country rooting for them to keep on winning. This year, it's the St. Peter's Peacocks, who are the mid-major school, pulling off major victories and having the nation wondering, who are these Peacocks? St. Peter's, who had never won a tournament game, is now off to the Sweet 16. As one student said this week, this is bigger than St. Peter's. It's about New Jersey. He said most people think it's the state you drive through to get to where you're going. Not this time. The small campus in Jersey City is pretty much the center of the college basketball universe. I said, no matter the tight team, a small team, small school like us, you know, the whole state can rally around us. And now it's becoming a national thing. This has been a profitable run for the Jesuit University. These two wins in the tournament have generated an estimated 71 million in publicity for the school. And now the party travels down the turnpike here at the Wells Fargo Center, where they take on another Goliath in Purdue. The Boilermakers were ranked number one in the nation earlier this season, and they have a significant size advantage over the Peacocks, with one player standing 7 4. The average St. Peter's player is 6 4. But the Peacocks have played bigger this entire time, and they certainly won't change now. You gotta see it one way it's five versus five. They don't have two heads, they don't have four legs, they have two legs. So we always make sure whenever we step in the court, no one dominate us. This has not been an easy road for the Peacocks. They started the season at three and six, and they missed a full month of the season thanks to COVID issues. Coach Holloway has actually said that pause helped save their season. We didn't play in 28 days, something like that. So you guys tend to have like a mini camp to get ready and get back. And since the COVID pause, this team has been a different team. Once again, game time, 7 p.m. on CBS 2. I'm down here. Steve Overmeyer is headed down here. We're going to be all over this story until we find out if St. Peter's becomes the first 15 seed to advance to the Elite Eight. And Jessica, it is quiet now, but let me tell you, hours from now, out here in this parking lot, inside the Wells Fargo Center, it is going to be hopping. St. Peter's has taken the nation by storm. You said it best. This is a classic Cinderella story, and these guys have proven time and again yeah. no team is too big. Are you expecting a big local turnout since you're just down the road in Philly? Yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously, you got UCLA, North Carolina, and Purdue. Those are all big Power 5 conference teams, right. so they, they're going to have a great following. But I hope that a lot of people come down from Jersey City because this is an incredible story. We've only seen a one seed lose to a 16 seed one time. That, that's all. It never ha wow. It's never happened since then. Now you get a chance to see a 15-seat upset this team in advance yeah. to the Elite Eight. That would be huge, and what a great story for a small school from Jersey City. We'll see tonight. I'll have it all on the 5, 6, and 11 o'clock <laughs> news tonight. It won't be 11 because, of, of course, these games right, end right. so late. But we'll, we'll see you at midnight, though. <laughs> we'll see you at midnight. <laughs> That's right. All right. Thank yep, you. No doubt. Thank you so much. And as Otis right. said, Steve Overmeyer yeah. is also headed down to Philly, Philly for the big game. But before he gets there, Steve is stopping by the St. Peter's campus in Jersey City. He'll speak with students as they board buses headed for the Wells Fargo Center. You can watch Steve's report from Jersey City right here on CBS News New York at 3.30. And we've asked you to show off your peacock pride. Here's a look at what fans have submitted to us at CBSNewYork.com. Here you see an adorable furry friend dressed up like a peacock and some St. Peter's students showing their excitement ahead of the big game. There you go. If you'd like to share your excitement, there's a QR code that makes it really easy right there on your screen. Just scan it and post your photos. We might just use them on the air. If you're not able to scan and the code. No worries. Just go to our social media pages. The hashtag is CBS New York. Again, watch the St. Peter's Peacocks take on the Purdue Boilermakers tonight at 7 o'clock on CBS 2.